Recently, I posted on social media about going to London for a secret project, and now I am finally ready to reveal it. The grand reveal. I was invited by the Irish band Westlife to perform a violin solo in one of their songs, and this was streamed on the Chinese social media platform WeChat to over 22 million people. This project was so exciting and insightful, as I had never played Irish violin before. I have played, for example, some jazz or other genres outside of classical music, but it was the first time I touched on Irish violin, and I was so excited to do research on how to make it sound as authentic as possible. The song which I played, You Raise Me Up, also has a lot of meaning to me, as it was one of the very first songs that I ever learned, and this was when I was around three or four years old. There was a lot of scope for the imagination. I could take as much time as I wanted in the solos as nobody else was really playing with me, and I could do as much ornamentation and glissando as freely as possible, so I had a lot of fun doing that. Here are some of the clips which I took during the journey. Here is a clip of me frantically searching for one of my missing gloves, only to realise that I was wearing it the entire time. The journey with the fast train was exceptionally fast. I hadn't even properly settled in before we already arrived. Look at this lovely carriage all to ourselves. My poor mum was stuck trying to get out, so naturally I went and admired the pigeons. As you can tell from here, I am an expert in logistics. One of the major advantages of travelling during off-peak hours was that there was hardly anyone on the tube. Well, I said that a bit too early, didn't I? We finally arrived at our hotel, and my first thoughts were why these doors were so unnecessarily tall. And of course, the very first thing I did after checking in was eat one of these delicious shortbreads. 
I'm not even joking when I say that I literally fell asleep from 9:30 p.m. until 11 a.m. in the morning. I was severely underwhelmed at the fact that I somehow mysteriously grew a whole bunch of spots on my forehead. We have one and a half hours to kill, so what better way to do it than go to Westfield? Since our hotel does not provide breakfast anymore due to COVID restrictions, our main objective here at Westfield is to find some food. So I'm just looking at donuts right now. So maybe that's a great way to start the day. I love Mr. Pretzel. I love Mr. Pretzel. <laughs> I'm finding it kind of hard to believe how many people there are here on a Thursday morning eating already. Like, what? How? But then I guess it's already lunchtime, so. Huh. We ended up getting some really tasty Vietnamese food, although I was still very upset that we didn't get to have ice cream for breakfast. And I was busy wondering whether we should put the rice in the curry or the curry in the rice. Definitely contemplating my life choices. It was certainly easier with the soup. Whilst eating, I was entertaining myself by trying to guess some of the artists of the pop songs that were played in the shopping centre. And, well, I got some of the obvious people like Taylor Swift, Dua Lipa and Ariana Grande correct. Don't attack me, but I confused James Arthur with Louis Capaldi. Um, when suddenly I heard a band, Shazam did, and found out that it was none other than Westlife. I ate so much that walking to the hall was a pain, and after furiously wrestling with the door, someone opened it and told me that the entrance was on the other side. They had a wide selection of snacks, so I made up for not having ice cream for breakfast by gobbling up three packets of popcorn. Here are some of the photos that we took. Our train leaves at 9pm. Our tube is going to arrive at the train station at 6 past 9. So watch my futile attempt to rewind time. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait until 10 p.m. Well, that works very nicely. 